my last video I said I didn't really feel like making knife videos and here I am the very next video talking about knives. It is what it is I suppose. Anyway this is just a little mix of some knives that I've picked up over the last six months just on um, various family outings around Scotland. Um, these are mostly being picked up at um, flea markets, car boot sales, Sunday markets, auctions, that sort of thing. I don't actually remember what I got where but this is just some of the knives I've picked up recently. Um, not all of them, I think I forgot some in the house and there's also the Leatherman Wave and the Gerber Crucial that I paid a grand total of 20 quid for for the pair. Um, that's in the house and the girlfriend also picked up a few knives this year as well which is nice. Um, as I said before I've not really been buying new knives but anytime I can I've been buying old ones. So um, there's this guy I bought a bag of like 9 pen knives off of. For about £10 that includes these ones and these ones here I think and the rest I've just picked up here and there. I'm pretty sure this is just a no-name no Chinese knife. All as it has on it and it's a pain to open. It's just a little a little knife with a bottle opener. I don't really like these designs. They look stupid in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I, I could already tell you without even using it those scissors will be awful. More of a novelty this one, with a design that I can't quite make out. By the way, I'll include um, I'll include photos later on because this is probably a bit blurry. And if I'm honest, I can't really see what I'm doing either because I'm wearing one of those silly um, uh, chest harnesses to hold your phone for filming. It's just easier. This one almost looks like a Richards, in fact, another one does as well. So, some of these are Richards, by the way, four, four of them at least are Richards, I think possibly more. This one looks like it could be an old Sheffield knife, like a Richards, but it doesn't say anywhere on it that it's Sheffield. And I don't recognise that logo. Again, I will add photos. But it's basically just two arrows crossed over um, instead of circle. The, the pattern on the handle is nice enough, though. But it almost looks like a like an old Sheffield pipe knife, kind of like this one, which we'll get onto later on. And then there's also this one with that similar similar flavour to it. And that one almost looks like it's got a circle with two two fish in the middle. And I'm glad this is the last one out of these four because I do not like these ones. Not really anyway, especially that green one. This one's just, uh, I can never pronounce this, rust fry, rust fry, whatever. Um, quite quite pointy that. Just a cheap little keyring knife. That one's actually fairly sharp and I don't think I sharpened it. Right, where should we go to next? This one here, I possibly showed this on a previous video. But I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I meant to on one of the videos where I showed some of the old tools I acquired um, at the markets. I, I think I actually had this on the table ready to go and I just forgot to inc include it. I noticed once I finished filming. So this one here um, is a Richards. Richards, they're definitely plentiful. I seem to find more Richards than anything else. Um usually don't pay a lot of money for them they're usually quite cheap they're definitely cheap the cheaper end of um the sheffield pen knives but they, they are fun to collect don't get me wrong i've got quite a few richards and uh as i said even my girlfriend has quite a few few richards they're just they're as cheap and cheerful really this one's been pretty well loved this has been used a lot i mean you can see just how much that's been sharpened I think that would have been just a regular spear point at some time and you can see it's really lost a substantial amount. Although I do I do have to admit these um these worn knives like that, I do like the edge that you get on them. Uh I don't know, I just I just prefer it and I think an edge like that would be great for, for whittling. Only other tools on this are um very stiff, so I'll just use this old turn screw. So we've got your bottle opener with a flat headed screwdriver and a tin opener and that's it really so 
sorry am i going off camera here so there you go just cheap and cheerful really simple i, I actually quite like that it's just it's really simple nothing fancy just three rivets holding it together that's a that's a fun little knife now here's something that's a bit more interesting and perhaps a bit more collectible and i was kind of surprised what this was when i bought it because uh this is a very stiff to open uh, George Washington home. Let's see now. I'll just do one blade because the other one's basically the same. Uh, I might clean this up. I probably should. Again, it's fairly well worn. Sorry again if that's blurry. I will upload photos um, with the video. But that's a George Washington home. I'm not really sure what this handle is. Something... Something synthetic anyway, but both blades basically look like this. And I paid a grand total of a whole pound for that, so I'm I'm really happy with that. Especially since the other George Washington home that I bought I paid twenty pounds for. But to be fair, that was in a that was in a a how do you put it? An antique and collectible shop, really, um in Perth. That's that's the one that I bought when I failed my chainsaw assessment. I was just going home. And I passed the, the shop on the way there, and I thought I'm going to go in there and have a wee look, and I found a little George Washington home. I've done a video including that, if you're interested. Um, right, I did mention this one briefly. This one, I'm pretty sure is a pipe knife, and I'm 90% sure, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's very rusty, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed a Richards. I should probably do a video on all the Richards knives. I own. I should do. Um, I should include mine and my girlfriend's ones because we've we've probably got about I don't know ten and twenty between us. But you've just got your little your little pen blade there. Not even a pen blade, just a little knife blade, and it's rounded off. I think this is for um, poking at your pipe. I don't know. I don't smoke a pipe, and I don't know anyone that does smoke a pipe. Well, that said, my granddad used to smoke a pipe, and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure my granddad has got this exact same knife by his table. I'll have to ask him sometime. And uh, you've got this little... I don't have a clue what that's called. Um, it's almost like a braddle, a really long one. I'm pretty sure this is for poking at your tobacco. Again, I don't know, I don't smoke. I mean, that could be useful to me. I suppose you could use that for, like, doing knot work or something and then your little hammer thing which I again I think is for packing your pipe right these are all Richards except one of them we'll just go to this one which I know is not now this one I really enjoy this one's probably going to go into my cabinet and I'm very sorry if you can't see that um, this one I'll take um, especially I'll take photos of this one but this is the Belfast Ropework Co. LTD. And if I flip it round, ropes, cords, lines, twines, bluebell, baller, binder, twines. So it's essentially just a little advert knife. I've got a couple of these now. Um, yeah, I like to buy advert knives when I find them. Now the, the blades on these are on, the, the blades on these are quite nice. Stainless Sheffield England. Nothing on the other side. This one isn't too much of a nail breaker. I'll say that. That just says stainless. And uh, I thought earlier on about trying to whittle with it. Just I'm curious because it is awful flat. It is really flat. That would be a good knife just for opening letters mainly. And maybe cutting fruit. This is a uh, oak, by the way. Yeah, that's a nice little slim pocket knife. Now this one is one I really like. This is nice and clean. I like the the design on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm pretty sure this is also a Richards. Yes, it is a Richards. Other tools include 
a nail breaker that actually did hurt so bear with me a fairly fine screwdriver i think this is possible this is possibly a bit big for your eyeglasses though now i really enjoy having a tin opener on my knives i don't know why i just i like having it it's just something i feel that it should be on a pen knife and certainly on a multi tool so you've got a small tin opener I thought I had a bottle opener, but it doesn't. And we've got a really small pen blade, and that really is quite small, that. Right, these get a bit more interesting. I don't think this is a Richards. No, it's not. Right. This one is... John Watts, Sheffield, England, and this... Looks like someone has tried to sharpen it on a bench grinder and did a really bad job of it and it wasn't me. I don't mind sharpening knives on a bench grinder. You have to you have to be careful. You have got to take your time and you've got to use a lot of water. But uh, that, that definitely wasn't me. And both, both knives are marked. And just there in the middle it just says stainless steel. What on earth are these for? These little key rings. I would understand it if there was only one, but there's two. This smaller one here is fairly floppy. And this bigger one here is, I wouldn't say stiff, but there is a bit of tension on it. Why two? What? Can someone please explain that to me? Because I've not got a clue what that's for. I've been puzzled since the day I bought it. This one is a little Richards, and my girlfriend has the exact same knife. She bought one about two years ago, although unfortunately the tip snapped off. But I think she only paid like a pound for it, so it doesn't really matter too much. And this is a this is a really nice little knife. In fact, I should have my Victorinox Classic SD on my keys beside me, and I want to do a little comparison in size. Now, I I just said about the tin opener. I'm really glad this little thing has a tin opener. This. This is a brilliant size of pen knife to put on your keys. And the fact that it's got a tin opener, to be honest, it's probably just me overthinking it. But in this day and age, I kind of feel like you can't be too prepared. I mean, things are just getting a bit dodgy. That's all I'm saying. And I'd feel a little bit better having that tin opener there. You never know. You never know. Well, screwdriver. I will say, does anyone now actually like slotted screws? And I'm serious when I say that. I personally hate Phillips screws. I hate posi screws. And I really hate Torx screws. They're hideous. I, I actually really enjoy old slotted screws. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you probably think they're demon spawn. But I here's an example. Just, just quickly. A lovely old... Uh, Record woodworking plane. I think this is from the 50s. Lovely brass screw. Can you imagine if that was a cross-headed screw? That would look disgusting. But this is beautiful. And it's the same with all those screws on this plane. They're all flat. And they're not that awkward to work with. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But yeah. I, I personally really like. I really like slotted screws. Now this is probably one of the more interesting ones, and I'm sorry if this is going on for a bit. This one's got a penny in it. 1954 farthing. And the blade on that is absolutely tiny. And it is also a Richard. In fact, I forgot to compare this one to the Victorinox. I'll just do that now. So for comparison, there's your Victorinox. I think my dad pointed out this is also something to do with 
golf, I don't remember what, apparently you sit it next to the golf ball or use it a marker or something, I don't remember. But there, just to get an idea of the size, in fact, if I just open the knife on this, to give you a good frame of reference here, that's how small that blade is, it's smaller than the knife on the Victorinox. So that's pretty damn small. That's a fun little collectible though. This one is the only one here that isn't British. I think I paid like a pound fifty for that. If I'm not mistaken, the seller wanted three pounds for it and I had a look and I thought, you know, it's not bad actually. And I was looking for an excuse to try and talk him down. And luckily for me, I found one. And uh, it being stiff, uh, wasn't it. Although it is very stiff. I'll get to that just in a second. Can't quite make out the maker on that. I didn't realise it actually had a maker on it, but it does right there. I'll try and do a bit of research for a post this. If I remember, I probably won't. This is very blunt though. So there's your main blade. This is basically your equivalent to a Victorinox climber in terms of tool set. This one's made in Poland. So there's a little pen blade and again it's got that sort of it's got that Sheffield type handle as well with just just a wavy pattern. Now I did use this to try and open my tin of haggis and it absolutely sucks. Not gonna lie, it does. I still like it. I only paid a pound fifty or so. I definitely paid less than three quid for it. There's your bottle opener and screwdriver. And I already know for a fact I'm still not getting this out. You know what? I'm not even gonna try. Just too much hassle. But anyway, the, the spring on the scissors is unfortunately broken. Now it also has a bradle. I really like this shape of bradle where it's sort of more 3D opposed to flat. I just enjoy that. And of course it's also got a corkscrew. And I didn't realise this until a few days after I bought it. It's got another tool hidden and I probably I'm going to struggle to open it. Here we go. A nail file. And the, the filing edge is, the actual file is here. This isn't anything, nor is this. And this is like a little nail pick on the end. So that's fantastic. And I've possibly showed you this already, but this is just a an old scout knife that I got at a Auto Jumbo. I can't remember where that was. Dunfermline, I think. Scout knife, not in great condition. The seller thinks it's from the 30s or 40s. Possibly, I quite agree, if I remember right. Yeah, it's marked foreign. I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean it's made in China, but from the reading I've done, it suggests that it comes from Germany. I, I don't really know why. Something to do with trade laws back then. But all you've got is your sheep's foot blade and your spike, which I always mispronounce. And the handle is beech which I do quite like, and you've got a little brass shield with nothing on it. And of course, a bale. So there we go, I've just spent, I don't know how long, talking about that little pile of pen knives. If you've stuck around, thank you, hope you enjoyed. Hope you didn't fall asleep. Actually, there's one thing I did forget to mention. This isn't a knife, but it's, it's George Washington home. Apparently. And it's just a pair of uh, carborundum slip stones. Now this one's broken, but to be honest, I don't care. Two different sizes. I paid 50 pence for the pair, so I am really happy with that price. You can sharpen knives with these, but these are mainly for sharpening a gouge. By the way, just isn't that beautiful? Look at the shape of that. This is probably an antique, but that's just for sharpening the inside of a gouge. I'm just including this because I'm not really sure if this was actually made by
by George Washington Home or if this is just a knife box and uh, someone decided to put the slip stones in it but it's the perfect size for the stones so I'm not really sure and I can't find anything about it online either so I only paid a grand total of 50 pence for that which which is a bargain I actually picked that up with a Stanley knife and the guy wanted a pound for this and the Stanley knife so that was, that was brilliant anyway hopefully you've not fallen asleep I'll see you later